I don't mean to intrude in your personal business, but that's what they are about to do. <laughs> That stuff they say about you really don't know what people are going through is not cliche that's just the truth so let's learn to cut people some slack and be empathetic as as much as possible she's no longer on social media mm. Mm. <laughs> that's why she's pregnant let's see she said all oh, the clothes i'm wearing that but now that i can see that you're not pregnant hmm. ah. hey. if I see me Hello dear. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. Now I hope you guys are doing well. Once I put that videos and thank you guys for watching. Thank you for engaging. Thank you very much. Just ignore this shade though. I'm gonna tell you why I'm wearing this shade now. <laughs> but of course, as you can see from the title, you I have this shade on to shade some people. Yes. Can you see my face? Very well. Exactly. I'm here with Yabaraka in case Yabaraka will be section. Stay fast. I'm going to be talking about what you should not tell TTC moms. TTC is like trying to conceive. Regardless, it could be primary infertility or secondary infertility. So let me move my shit so that people can see me. Um, if this is your first time watching, please, you know what to do. Subscribe, drop your comments in the comment section. I'm sure whatever I want to say, like a lot of people can relate, especially women. <laughs> Since I've like grown up and come of age, I mean, I understand how life is. I know these things are issues that like happen on a daily basis, especially to women. So I know not to ask people some questions. And you know, like, I've been thinking, will I talk about this thing? Because before me, people have been talking about it. After me, people will still talk about it. Because in my mind, I'm like, at the end of the day, there are so many things that you don't need to tell people. Because this is, I feel like, they're they are just normal etiquette that people should know. But then again, I mean, some people are genuinely not aware. Some people are genuinely ignorant. Some people are just being insensitive. Whichever category, shasha, things that you shouldn't be saying to people that are in this uh, situation. Talk like, people should do fast now. What are you waiting for? You know the way some people say oh, maybe they're trying to wait or they are just enjoying their, their life. It's not everybody that wants children immediately after marriage. Even like some people, maybe two years, three years. It's not everybody. Fine, some people desire it, but some people don't desire it. <laughs> There are, people, there are people that look at your tummy. These ones, they will not talk. And you know what pisses me off the most? It's so obvious. Like, I know that you're looking at my tummy. Why are you doing that? Why do you do that? Eh? Hey, baby! <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's very wrong. It's bad. If you are doing it, stop it. Like, I had to I had to now stay at her because I already know what you're trying. I was now staring at her too. Maybe you can't stay. No problem. Let's be staring this, staring together. I was looking at her too. Abby, like, eh, uh eh, -huh. You know when your gays meet each other and she's down like as if I'm just like <laughs> voila, voila. You know, they're looking like it's something there. For crying out loud, this might just be feeling bloated. A lot of things go on on women body and to think most of these people they are women. When they get to that, I don't pray stage for anybody to get. But I mean, whether we like it or not, nobody is perfect. We all go through all those and you know, things in life. So it might not be in my own area, just might be in another area. So, but I, I'm just trying to say that is when people go through things that they actually feel something. But personally, I strongly feel like if you don't have to go through it to to put yourself in other people's shoes to know that oh, this person is going through something, or I shouldn't be insensitive around this person. You, for example, you don't have to be a TTC person too to now get you to realize that oh, this thing is bad though. This thing I've been doing. It happens for some people, but it doesn't have to be that. Let's be human together, okay? Yeah. <music> Hmm. If I'm not this one, are you pregnant? What's with the old dog? <laughs> old dog called traffic. Me. She was a cousin. I just remember this thing. Just came to me and said, Hey, you see you. people like this, so they'll tell you, I don't mean to intrude in your personal business, but that's what they are about to do. <laughs> my mother, I'm already like, Okay, spill. She, is it you so bad that thing she said, Ah, that um, before I was thinking that maybe you are pregnant. That's the way she said it. Don't joke. I was thinking you are pregnant because you've been wearing big, big clothes lately. But now, as she's saying now, she just put the clothes I'm wearing that. But now, that I can see that you're not pregnant. Really, really, like for real though. Hey, that's not how people do. <laughs> do you know? Of course. Imagine if I'm not in a better place. Like, and even if I'm not pregnant, maybe I'm probably like in a better space, in a better. But you are there running your mouth like that, thinking that you're trying to hurt me. <laughs> you lie. Pick somebody else. That's 
and in my head, you know, people are funny. The same way people body shame people, they'll tell you, ah, you're getting fat anyhow, and you're skinny. If that fat person tell you that's why are you so skinny, you will now be saying that oh you are emotionally downcast, your mental health is jeopardized. But you are the first person to open your mouth and say BS. Eh? That's what I was just like, this person does not know me. And if I open my mouth now, because all this thing you said now, it's not even getting me. I'm just looking at you because I have a lot that I can say to you right now. Just one, and you will be depressed. The same way you are trying to tell me. Eh, I have not pregnant, I have not given back. For like months, you may be able to recover from what I will say. Because I have what I can say to the person. Eh? You see, people will just allow you to... I don't know. Eh? If a person abuse you back, they will say that the person is doing bad. Eh? Eh, baby! <laughs> Let's be careful, baby. Because you, they are calling somebody this. Your own is your body that they can use. It's funny because it's always the... Nobody's perfect. But you see, it's always the most imperfect ones that will now open up and tell you what is not. We got it, boss. <laughs> Some will also tell you, what are you waiting for? You're not, you're not getting young girl. You're not getting young girl. You're not getting young girl. Hmm? <laughs> ah, I've actually had someone telling me, a man, no, maybe consider adoption. I'm not against adoption. Okay, not against it in any way. But it's not everybody that can do it. And this thing involves processes that you don't even know and you're telling, advising somebody to go and do. So, like, it's still part of unsolicited advice. Even before my mom started talking to me, it started like prayer. And I mean, of course, your mom will show up, you get, and maybe like your mother in law, if you are close with her, there are ways that they will put it to you that you will know that, I mean, they mean well, you get. So, if you are not, if you are not on the same pedestal, like, we are not that close, don't stop putting, giving people unsolicited advice. Advice they don't ask. Like, talking about like people being insensitive, like people deliberately wanting you to be sad. You know when you are going through something that people expect you to be sad about and you are not sad about it and you are just like I don't that joy okay. <laughs> Like that's the vibe you are giving out so they are like confused like this, this person is supposed to be sad This person is supposed to be unhappy And she's now like looking for things to make me feel that way okay? Maybe you know, maybe you forgot your body camera It's weird, it's crazy Stop trying to steal people's joy Who is that one? Stop trying to steal people's joy. There are people that deliberately do this thing. You know, imagine telling me, hey. I'm like, okay. As the, that was my look like, next. <laughs> the, how should I, like, how does this affect the price of fish in the market? What should I do with this information? Please, dear, explain to me. Huh? <laughs> Don't ever minimize people's pain. Even if you think it's in your mind, as human that you are, leave it, let the thoughts be your thoughts. Don't, you don't have to open your mouth and say it. Huh? and that thing. don't open your mouth and say everything you think so try, just try and put people in your shoes be emotionally intelligent and please in case you are part of those people doing it out of maybe sheer ignorance or whatever just in future be mindful of the comments you make to people that are ttc okay i know even personally i feel like i didn't really go through so much like the normal african the way some people will have it let's, let's just try and be considerate <laughs> For this one, personally, I would say wisdom is profitable to direct. I believe that life is spiritual, so and the spiritual controls the physical. So it's okay if or maybe tell people or share online in real time. It's, it's fine. It's okay. Also, it, the fact that maybe you not share doesn't mean that bad things can happen. Whether you share or not, things can happen. But it's different when God instructs you about something. Maybe whether through prophecies, dreams, or God, you know, God give you an instruction true revelation depicting warnings not to share some things untimely and then you say because of wokeness you're going to do otherwise well, you're on your own so <laughs> whatever like let's just learn to respect people's choices like it's okay if you want to share it's okay if you don't want to share it's okay if you are waiting to a particular time to share in your own time you know like share when you are ready so let's not judge people unless it's important to respect people's choices mm -hmm. what you can do Pray. pray and intercede for people i do that i have people that maybe if my mind just goes to it, even the family member friends i don't know they, i don't know whatever they're going through or maybe i do think i know i just pray oh this is what i want this person this is the good thing that i want this person to have i just pray about it if you have any issue or you have any thoughts keep it to yourself pray for the person and intercede for the person that's one thankful for people who intercede for others too if somebody like now come to you like maybe for advice for help or just discuss it with you just share something as sensitive as that with you please acknowledge the person and then don't minimize their pain That's what mm -hmm. advice 
advice to TTC moms themselves like even when people say these things to you things you should do no particular order these are things that also helped me personally i wrote down that seek medical help go for tests and get confirmation research medical practitioners and hospitals make your research very well so you can confirm if yours is medically related the person is having a condition say the person should just relax the earlier you know what this medical thing then the better different parts for different people some people they, it's just for them to relax and it's going to work out you don't know so allow people do what people are supposed to do whether through books articles websites just learn as much as possible about fertility ovulation cycles and reproductive health personally i google check online youtube for people's experiences knowledge is truly power being informed actually help to maybe alleviate some of the anxiety and uncertainty that comes with this phase one thing that will help you stay grounded is having a support system whether family good partner good friend people that you know that you can relate with and confide in sometimes it could even be through online forums just you know check people that you know are in similar phase or support groups you know having people that really understand what you are going through makes all the difference so <laughs> Of course, self-care is very important. Prioritize activities that brings joy and helps you relax. Negate every negative energy. No, thank you. Okay. Like, treat every BS accordingly. I mean, there's a reason why there's ignore button, block button, delete. Make use of it. They are good, good tools so though. You'll be shocked. So, summary for me, how I deal with things like this is, well, I would just say, like, protect your mental health as much as you can. Protect your space. Anything you can, that, as long as you're not hurting any other person. Then engage in things that makes you happy. Personally, times I was, you know, going through, I did my birthday. I think that was when I went to Cappadocia. Like, I really made sure that I had fun, enjoy myself with some friends. It's funny how that particular day, I still got injection when I got home. And yeah, even though I still got home that day and because I was going to drive here, I still took my injection, but even though, even though, I still had a lot of fun. So, sit with your feelings, even the rough ones, write down your thoughts about your journey, if journalizing, if that's something you are into, try something new to take your mind off TTC, reach out to a trusted person if it gets overwhelming, just prioritize yourself every day, because... Taking care of your mental health and emotional well-being is just as important as taking care of your physical body. So yeah. Speaking of physical health, if you need to pay attention to diet and lifestyle, because it can also play a significant role. Staying hydrated, you know, small changes here and there can possibly make a big difference. Also, faith without works is dead, so so no method should be looked down on whether it's true medical intervention, procedures, everything is all good. Pray, because life itself is spiritual and the spiritual controls the physical, so personally, I feel like pregnancy and, you know, the whole process of conception is actually a spiritual journey. Bear in mind, too, that God will not leave his own, so what the enemy meant for evil, God does God definitely turns it around for good. Just like all those, you know, even Jesus faced one. So I mean they thought it was their doings, but they were just being used by God for the greater good which is salvation. So yeah, and also praise and worship. Praise and worship even when it doesn't make sense. Anytime you are faced with overwhelming situation, communicate with God in praises. Have a childlike faith faith. I mean there's power in advanced praises. Praise God in advance. Thank him for what that thing that you, you are anticipating for be happy for others remember when god blesses your neighbor it means that he's in the neighborhood i mean people will, people will still talk right some people will be from a good place some people will be from other side of the person that go about talking about my business to people and i don't talk about people's business because i'm dealing with my own business i'm not so much of a sharer but i do share some things when i feel like maybe i need help okay or i feel like it's necessary i would also say that not all of these are from a good place Yes, I know some people say, oh, people are saying from a good place. Not all persons, not all people are coming from a good place. Also, know who you talk to. Some people will make you feel worse when you confide, when you finish telling them their predica your predicament. And some others will elevate you. 
so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section i feel like i've i've talked so much and i'm tired my energy is already getting low i know there are a lot of there are a lot that i didn't even talk about let me know your experience in the comment section if you are willing to share and please if you are doing everything i've said just you know cut people some slack you know stop it stop shebe okay <laughs> Machine ever don't do that anymore. So yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and I pray for you know everybody that is still to see body waiting on God by God's grace. You all get what you want and even aside like waiting on God for a child, anything you're waiting on God for by God's grace, God will perfect everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for watching again. See you in my next video. Bye. What's the why? If I feel like removing this shape. I will remove it so that people that want to catch their soul will catch their soul. I'm just like, even colleagues, <laughs> you think they should be professional, right? The only difference is that they are wearing suits. They are getting, they are wearing corporate dresses. So, I lose guard. <laughs> Don't lose your guard, okay? What makes me laugh sometimes is that people feel like they know a lot of things. You know like 95%. Meanwhile, it's just probably the 5% they know. Or they are not even aware of any. I just laugh. You say, ah, she's no longer on social media. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that's why she's pregnant so to some people now i've been pregnant for like two years i've been pregnant for one year and some people have been pregnant for three years safe just do better and beg you so all of these comments is just under being insensitive if you are sensitive and you're emotionally intelligent you won't be found doing all these things to be honest